Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up The Pom Poms. My name is Shantae and here is my oldest daughter Kalia and in this video she is rocking some jumbo braids for the school week. So here are three styles on three ways we styled it and I also used three different methods to create these jumbo braids. So in this video we're going to show you how we achieve these looks. Before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. We would love to have you. This is a mother-daughter hair tutorial YouTube channel, and we talk about hair routines, hair maintenance, all that good stuff, as well as hairstyle inspirations. So here we have Kalia. She is freshly washed. In that previous clip, her hair was in need of a desperate wash. So every time I wash Kalia's hair, I always check her scalp to make sure that we had a good cleansing. I'm looking for any product buildup, any excessive flaking, and of course anything that is outside of my expertise, I will refer to a expert. I am just a self-taught mom who just loves and adores doing her girl's hair. So here I am sectioning off her hair into four sections. With her hair being freshly washed, it's now time for us to get into detangling, and then I need to stretch her hair for these hairstyles. So we are going to be blow drying her hair, and we're going to talk about the products and the method that I use. So I'm going in with that first section out of the four and I'll even work that section down into smaller sections the smaller the section of course the better it helps with me making sure I focus on one area at a time Kalia has a lot of hair so it can be overwhelming so I'm going in with the pretty strands leave-in conditioner absolutely love this leave-in conditioner it's very lightweight and since I am going to be using other products I don't want to experience a bunch of product buildup and have her hair, hair feeling weighed down from all of the excessive products so once I detangle that through I'm then going to go in with this flawless heat protectant spray by Gabrielle Union. I do spray this product on pretty heavy. This is also another lightweight product so I never feel like her hair feels gunky or it gives it like this weird texture or anything and then I'm gonna go in with this my blow dryer I have it on high heat and it is on full velocity and I just kind of work it down the shaft of her hair until I get to the ends and then that's when I pull out a uh, barrel brush and I just kind of just continue going up the shaft and just work my way down until it is completely dry. The barrel brush is also ceramic so it heats up while I am using it with the blow dryer and that just helps smoothing out her hair and it helps with creating less frizz. Once I have completed that entire section of blow drying, I then go in with the Keep Shining by Taraji P. It is a dry mist oil, another lightweight product. I just love that it has a nice shine to it. And it also says it helps with sealing in moisture and protecting her hair. So, you know, that's also a plus too. But I really just like it for the shine and it also smells really good. I'm then going to twist this section up and we're going to move on to the next. All right, so here she is with all of her sections completely dried. I'm now taking out her twist and I'm just adoring her length, her thickness. Her hair is looking so healthy. I did check her ends for split ends as well and she's not due for her cut yet, but I also like to monitor just in case we don't have any, you know, unwanted unhealthy hair from previous styles so now i'm going in and cleaning up my parts and i'm going in with the shine effects conditioning gel i speak highly of this gel in every tutorial that i use it in i've been using it for the past six months and i absolutely love this stuff I section off Kalia's hair using two rubber bands. I feel like using two rubber bands versus one helps with securing that section for me. And I try to make sure that I don't have too much tension because that is always a big deciding factor whenever I do the girl's hairstyle. I'm then going to go in with some pre-stretched braiding hair that I purchased off of Amazon. This hair is 24 inches long and it came with nine packs of it. Of course, if you are interested in any of the products that we have mentioned in this video, you can shop our Amazon storefront. Click on the pictures and it'll show you everything that we use for that style so with this method all I did was pretty much take the braiding hair and wrapped it around the base of her ponytail so it's creating two of the strands that I need for a three-stranded braid and then of course her hair which is now in a ponytail is creating that third strand and you just braid as usual now this is a lot of hair and I have very small fingers so I do find it that it can be difficult for me to control and manage all of this hair so I do have to take my time
The style took me at 30 minutes to style and that's just the braiding part, not the blow drying. This will last her two to three days with the braids being this big. The longevity can be shortened. The smaller the braids, the longer they can last. And I'm just gonna go in and add some hair jewelry just for decoration. I wish I had some hair string too. That would have been a really cute decoration as well. I did dip them in hot water off camera and now I'm going in with some BTL braid foam. This is some really good foam for braids. It helps with the flyaways and frizziness. I zapped it with a blow dryer and she is complete for this style. Now we're going to move on to style number two. So with this one, I wanted to just do two low hanging braids, jumbo braids on her. So I took out the four plaits from the previous style and I did have to go back in with the blow dryer to kind of help straighten it. And I'm going in with my blow dryer on a high velocity, but a low heat. So once I have sectioned off her hair into halves, I'm going in with rubber bands and some gel to smooth down. Now I did say I was doing two ponytails. Now it may look like I'm doing more than two, but I have to break down the ponytail in half just to make sure I get it at its leakest. She has a lot of hair and breaking down a ponytail whenever I'm doing a big ponytail on her helps with managing all of that hair into a ponytail. So I'm adding in gel and the gel is kind of reverting her hair back so I did have to go in with some got to be spray to kind of help with that too now I always talk about tension in a ponytail and these are signs that I look for I can see Kalia's kind of like scratching there you know kind of like pulling at it and when I checked I could see that her scalp looked really tight so I did have to take that out and redo it now I'm going in with my braiding hair and this is another fresh pack of hair that I um, mentioned earlier and for this method I'm going to rub band it down to her hair but I'm not going to rubber band it down in the middle I'm going to do it towards the end of that pre-stretched hair and what's th what this is doing is pretty much just adding more hair to her natural hair and we're just going to split all this hair up into uh, three sections I'm going to fold that piece that is over the front of her hair back over but I just want you to see me kind of sectioning her hair off into these three sections so I, you know I can stay a little bit more organized because again this is a lot of hair for my poor little fingers and this just helps me with managing it and keeping it as neat as possible I did not have to do any feed in the hair was at the perfect length for her and it looked really cute now we're going to deal with the base of this um, ponytail because of course you can see that big hump from where we rubber band the extra hair in so all I'm doing is taking a piece of braiding hair and I'm just wrapping it around the base and this is going to help it look very seamless and all in one. I did not record the end of it, but this is what she looks like after. This style took a, another 30 minutes to uh, restyle and it lasted for four days. She actually held these on pretty good rather than the four ones. Now we're going to move on to style number three. So this one, I want to create one single jumbo braid. Now I had such a hard time managing putting just two ponytails in Kalia's hair. I knew I was going to have a hard time doing one single one. So to kind of help with that, I decided to do some corn rolls in the front of her hair. And I decided to do it kind of like a triangle kind of style. So we're just doing two on one half and two on the other half. I'm going in with my, of course, a favorite gel of all time, the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel. And I'm going to just braid per usual. I have finished her four braids. They look nice and neat. I'm going to rubber band those up. And now we're going to work with the second half of her hair in the back and work that into a ponytail. Now I feared that I was gonna struggle with that too. So I even broke that in half. Y'all, I just y'all don't understand. My the arthritis in my hands when I get older, I know it's going to be severe because these girls be having my poor little fingers at work. So I'm going in with some gel and I'm smoothing it down with a bristle brush, and we're just gonna work in all that upwards and I'm going 
going in with a ponytail holder to secure it and we're going to do the same thing on the other side i also went in with some got to be spray as well to kind of help with the, the frizz and the flyaways and it looks really good i will say for a single ponytail i think i did a really good job because usually i hate doing single ponytails on kalia just because i get all those lumps and it just be looking crazy so for this method i'm not adding the braiding hair in first i'm doing a feed-in braid instead so i'm braiding her hair down per usual just a regular three strand braid and i have her holding my small sections that i've already you know created off camera and i'm just adding those in so here i'm trying to give you like a close-up of how i'm adding though that braiding hair into her hair and it can be difficult because again this is a lot of hair to manage so i have to take my time and be a really slow making sure that i'm adding that hair neatly there's not lumps everywhere and all that good stuff i should have unraveled the braids from the braids in the front but i was tired y'all okay i did i just just like you know what baby we just gonna keep them in there and make them work so i braid that all the way down and i tie it off with a rubber band and don't forget to add the braiding hair to the base of the ponytail. I swear it really just turns the look into a completed style. Looks really good. I did not go in with any kind of hairspray or anything for the base of the ponytail. I just pinned hers down with a bobby pin. Of course, I'm gonna go in with my braid foam and love this stuff. Really helps with the flyaways. And she is all done. This is look number three of her jumbo braids that she wore to school for the past two weeks. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another tutorial here on our channel. We greatly appreciate y'all and having y'all here. Do not forget to like this video and share to all of your social media platforms. We are on the road for, to uh, 10,000 subscribers here on our channel and it would greatly appreciate it if you would help us reach that milestone this year. Thank you guys and we will see y'all on a, another one. Be blessed and be safe.